an old book. It's, it's empty. An old book. A large stove with a nice fire. At least it sheds a little light and warmth. A large stove. Whoa, a human skeleton. Maybe the poor soul was part of the ship's crew. I can't see anything all that interesting. The skeleton looks kind of old and smells a little, but otherwise... I don't smell. <laughs> you almost scared me to death. I don't doubt it, sadly. Who... Who are you? I'm Death. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Death. My name's Wilbur Weathervin. Not Mr. Death. I am Death. You're famous. Why are you so down? Bah, what is death in this world? Nothing. This is a damn point-and-click adventure. No one dies. In any other reasonable role-playing game, you have to kill a hundred rats to reach the second level. Now that's a real game. And is it a bad thing if nobody can die? It is for me. I'm unemployed. I'm not qualified to do anything else. It was my life. You know, I've noticed it's nighttime here in the swamp, but it's daytime in the town. Why is that? I don't know. Probably magic. Ah. Isn't death not the end, but just the beginning of something new? I'm sorry. Are you trying to be intellectual? Come on, it is one of life's fundamental questions. I've never been interested in what comes after me. I just look ahead. You should, too. That thing up there on the shelf, that's a top hat, isn't it? Aren't you a clever one? Well. I am a gnome of the world. It belonged to my father. He always wore it. He was a grave digger. You mean your father wasn't deaf? No, I was the first one in the family to go to university. Would you lend me your top hat for a bit? I'll bring it back to you in top shape. You want to repair it? No, father's top hat stays just how it is. Then would you just lend it to me the way it is? Absolutely not. It's an old family heirloom. But you're deaf. Who's to stop you from killing people? It's not that simple. I'm in middle management. I don't make any decisions. I just carry them out. Which means? It's the boss who decides when someone's time is up, not me. It's all written down in that book there, the Book of the Dead. Name and time of death of everything living in this world. But as you can see, there's nothing written in it. No murder, no accident, no suicide. No one has ever died here, and no one ever will die here. What am I doing here? If you were to write a couple of names in the Book of the Dead, well, then you could go out and kill them, couldn't you? And get into trouble with the auditors. No thanks. Someone audits the Book of the Dead? What do they do? They check the should and haves. Have I killed exactly the number of people I should have? One little death too many and all hell breaks loose. No, oh, no. I'm not fiddling the Book of the Dead. 
Do you know the ghost mirror in the mage school? Certainly. It used to belong to old Balthazar. Master Marcus says it leads to the land of the dead. Yes, it does. But only ghosts can walk through the mirror. Isn't there... isn't there some other way? Why should there be? It's a ghost mirror. No living being would be interested in walking through the mirror, believe me. Could you turn me into a ghost? Ghosts are dead people who still have something they need to sort out in this world. You're still alive, and no one is allowed to die in this game. Do you see the problem? So that means I can't avail myself of your services until you receive the assignment via the Book of the Dead. Correct. The assignment is then executed immediately. No right of withdrawal, no vouchers. I see you've understood how this whole business works. Could you... Ghosts are dead people. Yes. Of course, but there has to be a way. My hands are tied. As long as your name isn't in the book, I'm not allowed to kill you. As much as I'd like to. I have to be going. Deadly boring, yeah? <laughs> oh, good grief. I just put the fresh mouldy slime in the press. Ugh. Ugh. Tasty mouldy slime extract. Mouldy slime extract, and it smells exactly the way it sounds. Right then, I'll grind the antlers to a powder. Done. Now I have the stag beetle antler powder for my potion. That's the stag beetle antler powder for my magic potion. I finally have all the ingredients. I should go brew the potion. The directions are on the back of the recipe. I finally have all... Here goes nothing. Master Marcus, I'll start brewing that elixir now, if that's all right. As you wish. But don't worry if it doesn't work the first time round. You can try it as often as you like. OK, thanks. And away we go. Put ghost mushrooms into the pot and stir until the water turns green. Stop stirring.
That wasn't much good. It's not that easy. All the different ingredients and colors. Just try again. The water's simmering in the pot. Next try. Put ghost mushrooms into the pot and stir until the water turns green. Stop stirring. Add moldy slime extract and stir anti-clockwise until the potions turn pink. Add the red devil's armpits and wait until little red bubbles appear. Then stir clockwise as quickly as possible. Sprinkle the stag beetle antler powder into the potion. When the potion turns blue for the third time, immediately add the bone worms. Then add the asthmatic trans fat maggots and stir the potion clockwise four times, anti-clockwise twice and then clockwise three times. Almost. Yeah, almost. Back to the beginning again. <laughs> <laughs>